back to the channel. We still chugging in J's. I'm Devin. Um, today I'm actually headed up. I'm about 20 minutes away from picking up a load here in Hampstead, North Carolina. Going to Monk's Corner, South Carolina. Not not the best load. Um, it looks real good on paper, but when you factor in the amount of deadhead that we had to drive to get to it, it definitely kills the weight per mile. But we kind of use this load you know, just to kind of keep us busy when we don't have anything planned. Um, because this load will come every other week for sure um so you kind of have to look at like you want to make a lot off a little bit or try to make a little bit off a lot so that's what we do this is all from the same broker um that my cousin works with so um you know we have a lot of good loads with them this one is actually paying um four dollars and sixty three cents a mile it's only 179 loaded miles but i had a deadhead um 225 miles to get it so all in all, it's going to be about a little over two dollars a mile, like two hundred two or something like that, um, for this load. But factoring in after diesel, we'll, we'll make about six hundred, um, about six hundred twenty, six hundred thirty dollars after diesel. So you're still not bad for you know a Monday, and they're real flexible with the the dates on this as well. They already have it planned, but if we have something else that planned that day they'll let us you know, move it to the next day. A real cool company to work with. Nick actually set, got this set up the first time we did it through the broker. And then he asked them, you know, how often they were gonna have it. And, you know, and the guy said that we did a real good job. So Nick said, well, hey, we'll reach out to the broker, let them know that you wanna continue to do this load, and but you want Anderson Trucking to run it for you. So we've been running it strong ever since then. The shipper loves us, the receiver loves us as well. This load pays $830 for 179 loaded miles. But like I said, after you factor in the dead here, it's only like $2.02 .02 per mile. Um, but hey, didn't have anything else planned for, for this truck for today, so we went ahead and took care of it. Better than sitting at home looking at the load board, for sure. Um, but the topic of the video today, I want to get into the new requirement changes for Amazon Relay but you haven't actually have a six month authority. I think it's great for uh, the box trucking community. Of course, it's not gonna appeal to everyone since it's not as easy to just go ahead and, and apply for your DOT and MC and jump right into Amazon. Um, but I'll go over reasons with you on why we think this, it'll be um, overall a good change for the box truck community. Stay tuned. Reason number one, double brokers. I'm sure at some point we've all been looking at the load board, the Amazon load board, and waiting on a load to mature and go up. But then you're still looking for a load on DAT as well. And you just so happen to see that there's a broker on there that has the load that you're waiting to go up. And they're trying to double broker the load. Or you see it at a good rate. You see the load already at a good rate, but the time doesn't match. So you're waiting on them to change the time so you can grab it. But you see on the, on the DAT load board that they already have it on there and it's uh, less. So I think Amazon requiring that six month authority is gonna cut down on a lot of that. I'm sure they'll still let their companies mature eventually and try to just still get these loads. But if they can't just simply start new companies and jump right into Amazon, that should cut down on a lot of that double brokering um, because now you can't just jump in. If they get banned or whatever reason, you know, if they get banned for double brokering and having other companies run the loads and they're just taking you know money off the top their companies get shut down with amazon they can no longer run it but in the past they could just simply start a new a new company and jump right back into amazon and keep continuing the process over and over so reason number one cutting out as much of the double broker all right y'all i want to show you what i got in the truck real quick So I'll pick this up from another small business owner. He said he would usually. Oh, let me set you down. I know, I know you're moving a lot. My bad, my bad. But he would usually take it himself. Yeah, he usually take it himself, load it up in his um, SUV. But, you know, he would have to drive it all the way there himself. And I'm 
I'm sure he was having to go more frequently because, you know, of the amount of it. But let me turn you around. So this is what we got. He said it weighs about 1,500 pounds. Just some cushions for some for some boats. But like I said, they have it every other um, every other week. Real quick, um, load and unload. So I'm gonna um, go ahead. I'm probably about an hour away now. But I want to go ahead and give you reason number two that we think these changes with Amazon Relay are great. We should see a decrease in the amount of carriers willing to take cheap freight because if you survive your first six months uh, without doing Amazon and, and you know getting loads off the load board, you know the importance of being able to get a good load you know, from Amazon and you're not gonna just take anything because that's all you know. So you kind of figured it out of that six months and Amazon should be willing to pay more if they are wanting a more experienced carrier. So just like with any other broker outside of Amazon, at six months you should be demanding more or getting more because of the experience at that point if you couldn't sign up with that company until six months. So um, we should see definitely a boost in rates, I think, because you know, everybody is going to be more experienced by the time they are able to sign up with Amazon Relay. So, all good changes, all good things. Um, but yeah, let me get up the road. I'm about an hour away, and I'll check in with y'all after I drop off. Finished getting unloaded. It took about 15 minutes to get unloaded. It took 15 minutes to load. So a real quick load and unload with this route. Just want to give you the third reason why these Amazon relay requirements we think are a good thing would be you're gonna have less content creators, hopefully, you know, pushing rental trucks and you know saying you can get right in with Amazon Relay and you know causing of course just any kind of people to get into the business. Instead of letting people know, you know, you can get in the game, but it's not going to be a get rich quick. Um, you have to get out here and grind and get to it. So I think that's going to be a big thing as well. So ultimately, I'm hoping that this brings higher rates with Amazon overall because of the the requirements and it should be, you know, pretty experienced carriers. At six months, you've kind of been through some things, so you'll kind of know what to expect um, and what it takes to make money and be successful out here um, in the box truck business. So, with all that being said, I talked to Nick and just kind of asked him, I was like, well, what you think about knowing how the spot market is right now, and we use Amazon any days that we can to fill in for times that we don't have low schedule with the connections that we have, what do you think about getting in the box truck business now, knowing that we couldn't use Amazon the way we do, you know, within that first six months? He told me, hell no. But yeah, I mean, it's, we, when we first started looking at getting into the business and, you know, the company, when we first started the company, we didn't know about Amazon Relay, but we found out about Amazon Relay before our authority went active. But once it went active, like we applied for Amazon Relay, I think we got approved that same day. And we were either running the load that very next day or, or that night. And you can kind of use Amazon to kind of get used to the business and then reach out to the different shippers um, and brokers. But based on what we knew about Amazon Relay when we got started, we figured it would be kind of sporadic in our area, but we didn't know about going to Charlotte at that time to get the postal route. So it was kind of a good and a bad thing. We knew we weren't going to depend on Amazon, but once we found out about Amazon Relay and the different routes, about the postal routes and, you know, in Charlotte, that's not too far away from us. It really allowed us to keep our trucks busy and run our truck seven days a week when we just had the one truck. So it worked out real good that way. And to start now, not being able to do that, knowing what we know how the spot market is, um, we wouldn't really do it. Not the way we want to run. You know, we want to run as much as possible. And like I said, that allowed us to run seven days a week when we first had just the one truck. And we paid that truck off in six months you know, so that we can buy another truck and, you know, kind of move forward in the business. So once again, it's not discourage anybody, but like I said in a previous video, 
if it's your dream to start a box truck company and grow it as big as you possibly can, it's not going to tear you from that anyway. But it's just our situation, knowing how we started and how we use Amazon even to this day to you know fill in and limit deadhead and you know maximize our profits. To not have that in the first six months, it's, it's a little tough. So, but that's gonna be the end of the video, man. Once again, we trucking in Jays. I'm Devin. We'll holler at you in the next video. Peace.